Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Treats. Today we're making teriyaki chicken. Let's do it. First thing we're gonna do is debone and de-skin five chicken thighs. You can use deboned and de-skin chicken thighs, but they're a little bit more expensive. After de-skinning and de-boning your chicken thighs, you're gonna cut them up into bite-sized pieces. However big you want your pieces to be, I want them to be about this thick, so that's how big I'm gonna make them. You want them all to be roughly the same size. Once you're done chopping them all into pieces, you're gonna add them to a bowl. Into said bowl, we're gonna add a little bit of salt, some freshly ground black pepper, some onion powder, some garlic, and just a touch of avocado oil. Then you're gonna massage everything together. After massaging, we're gonna cover it up and leave it in the fridge for about an hour or up to overnight, however long you got. Next, in a vessel of your choosing, you're gonna grate in about half an inch of ginger. Next, we're gonna grate in four cloves of garlic. Next, we're gonna add in some mirin. Soy sauce. If you want a little bit of kick, add some pepper. Next, we're gonna add some fish sauce. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of sugar and a little bit of honey. And we're gonna mix it all together. Make sure everything is nice and well combined. Over medium high heat, we're gonna add a little bit of olive bottle oil, just a touch. Once the pan is nice and hot, we're gonna add our chicken. And we're gonna let that cook for a couple minutes until the chicken is nice and well cooked through. After about 15 to 20 minutes, just as the chicken is starting to develop a little bit of a brown crust on there, we're gonna keep mixing, make sure everything is nice and well incorporated. Then you're gonna take that sauce mixture from earlier, stir it up so that anything that's settled on the bottom is out. We're gonna add that to our chicken. And now you're gonna stir in and incorporate everything until the chicken has a nice glaze on there. After about five to 10 minutes, as the sauce is continuing to cook, you're gonna make a little cornstarch slurry, which is just cornstarch mixed with a little bit of water. It was in that um, cup that I used for the teriyaki sauce. So that's why it's a little brown, but you're gonna add that to the mixture as well. And you're gonna stir that in. And what this is gonna do is gonna help thicken the sauce so close to chicken becomes more of that teriyaki type sauce you know and love. As you can see more of the chicken is starting to be covered with that teriyaki sauce. After about five more minutes, it should be just about done. You know your sauce is ready when it's thick enough to where you do this and you see that it's slowly coming back together. That means the sauce is thick enough. So we're done. Now it's time to munch. Kill the heat, take it off the fire, and serve it over rice. Let's go. Alrighty, it's much time. Let's go. Bone apple tea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That right there is most definitely Cheeto delicious. <laughs> Make sure you like the video if you like the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and as usual, we out here. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.